Hello, thanks for joining us for another video guide. In today's video, we're going to look at how you set up multiple versions of Vertex on one system. This is often helpful if you're working with, for example, both steel and wood. To complete this process, it's very similar to our standard method of installation, however with some slight changes when it comes to the second version's installation pathway. If you are already familiar with the standard method of installing Vertex BD, you can skip on in the video to about the 2 minutes 20 seconds mark, where we will begin installing our second version. Let's look at installing our first version of Vertex. For this one, we will be installing Vertex BD Steel. Firstly, we create a folder for our installation of Vertex on our computer C drive. In this instance, I name the folder VXBD Steel. With that completed, we then go back to our installation files and run the install application within there. Once this launches, we first select our required language and hit OK. We then select the one user installation option. With that selected, we will then be shown the end use license agreement for Vertex. Review this if required, and once you are happy to do so, select the yes option. Do the same again with the data collection agreements section, which follows, and select the next option once happy to do so. Now we are presented with a select destination pathway. Here we must modify the base path to our folder we created on the C drive initially. To do this, select Browse, navigate to the C drive in the window that opens, and select your folder. Once selected, press OK. Hit the next button and press OK again on the destination folder, change notification to continue the installation. Vertex will then ask if you would like to create a shortcut on your desktop. To this, we select Yes. It will then ask if you would like to use a licensed server. In this instance, we do not as we are completing a single installation using a license key we are manually entering. Lastly, Vertex will ask if you would like to install a hasp drive for USB dongles, and in this instance we will not be doing so, so thus hit no. Once those options have been selected, hit the next button and skip adding a custom license file, and select next again on the installation parameters window. Vertex will now install on your PC and will take between 5 and 15 minutes. Once the installer has completed this step, you may be presented with file name extension association requests as shown. Select yes on these. Once you have completed that, Vertex will then finish the installation, which will be shown on screen. To close the installer, simply hit the finish button. Now we have Vertex installed, we must open it and add our license number that we have been provided for our software to activate the license within the software. This is done as shown on screen by entering your license key in the activation code section and pressing the OK button. Once we have done this, our Vertex BD Steel software is ready for use. Now let's take a look at setting up another version of Vertex BD on the same system. This is often required when working with numerous material types, for example, such as steel or wood, or numerous platform types, such as both Howick and Pinnacle systems, for example. Installing multiple versions of Vertex is a very straightforward process, with only a slight change in the installation destination folder setup. In this instance, we make another folder within our PCC drive, and this time we call it VXBD Wood. With that completed, we then go back to where our installation files are located, and this time we run the installer for our wood version of Vertex BD. Once this launches, we again select our required language and hit OK. We then select the one user installation option, and with that selected, we will then be shown the end user license agreement for Vertex. Again, review this if required, and once you are happy to do so, select the yes option. Do the same again with the data collection agreements section which follows and select the next option once happy to do so. Now we are presented with the select destination path. Here we must modify the base path to our new folder we created on the C drive for our second version of Vertex we are installing. To do this, select browse, navigate to the C drive in the window that opens and select your folder. 
Once selected, press OK, hit the next button and press OK again on the destination folder change notification to continue the installation. Vertex will again ask if you would like to create a shortcut on your desktop. To this we select yes. It will then ask if you would like to use a licensed server. In this instance again, we do not as we are completing a single installation using a license key we are manually entering. Lastly, Vertex will ask if you would like to install a Hasp driver for a USB dongle. In this instance, we will not be doing so again and thus hit now. Once those options have been selected, hit the next button and skip adding a custom license file and select next again on the installation's parameters window. Vertex will now install on your PC and will again take between 5 and 15 minutes to complete this. Once the installer has completed this step, you may be presented with a file name extension association requests as shown. Select yes on these again. Once you have completed that, then Vertex will finish the installation, which will be shown on screen. To close the installer, simply hit the finish button. Now we have our second version of Vertex installed, we must open it and add our license number that we've been provided for our software to activate the license within the software. This is done as shown on screen again by entering your license key in the activation code section and pressing the OK button. Once you have activated your license, you have successfully set up and installed both versions of Vertex on your system and both are now ready to use for your projects. Thanks for joining us for this video guide. Check out our channel for more helpful guides and tips on how you can get the most out of your Vertex BD and how it can help you and benefit you with your projects. Thanks for watching.